Hello everyone, welcome to part 157 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, in this video, we are going to work on the coupon codes once again. Uh, we know that we have done this coupon code functionality uh, beginning in the beginning of the series, but now once again, we are going to work on it uh, because we are left with one functionality. If you remember, we have left with the single multiple time coupon type functionality. Okay, so in this like if the user if the coupon is the single time then it can be available just one it can be available uh, like this is the test 250 coupon that is for the single time coupon then the user can avail this coupon just one user can redeem it just for one time and but if the coupon is the multiple time like you have seen that there are a couple of multiple time coupons that can be available as many times as the user want okay so we are left with the single time coupon right now the multiple times coupon are working fine i'm going to show you like if you will add one of the product after login uh, i'm going to add one of the product here and see here i'm going to add one of the product and we'll go in card and now i'm going to try with the multiple time coupon i uh, see like this one so i'm going to apply this coupon see coupon code successfully applied here you can see the coupon discount okay so there are the single time coupon as well like if i will apply for this one see if the coupon is already uh, see uh, i'm going to apply this one test uh, see coupon code successfully applied i am going to see this is a single time coupon i'm going to place the order for this coupon i'm going to select the delivery address cash on delivery i have to accept the terms and condition we we'll click on place order it will take few seconds placing the order as it is sending the email as well later on we are going to add the loader uh, to this okay so the uh, see we have placed the order now again the user will add one of the product and will try to apply that single time coupon now that coupon must not work uh, but let's see okay so once again the user adds the product and now i'm going to apply this coupon once again see apply coupon again the coupon is working you can see the again the coupon is working so this is wrong the single time coupon must only work once so for this we are going to modify our code we are going to check that whether the order has been placed for that coupon or not okay so i'm going to update the apply coupon function uh, in the products controller uh, here we have the apply coupon function and here we are going to add the condition like we have the condition check if coupon is active check if, if coupon is expired after this I'm going to check uh, this one and in that I'm going to write check if coupon uh, and we are going to check the single time coupon check if single time coupons first of all we're going to check that the coupon is the single or multiple time check if coupon is for single uh single time okay check the coupon is for single time okay so first of all we're going to check that the coupon is for the single time if the coupon is for the single time then we will execute further okay coupon type coupon type and here we are going to check single time single time okay so here uh like if the coupon is for single time then we are going to check in orders table like the coupon is already availed or not check in orders table if coupon already availed by the user okay so here we are going to check coupon count okay so here order in order model uh, I'm going to check with the condition uh, first of all we are going to uh, take the coupon code see we are going to match with the coupon code code and the next condition is user ID So here I'm going to check the count. If count is greater than zero, it means the coupon has already been availed. It means the order is having that coupon. One of the order is, ha is having that coupon. 
uh, of that user okay so get the or equal to one then we are going to show the message okay uh, like uh, this coupon code is already availed by you we are going to show this message okay so let's try now i'm going to refresh and we'll apply the test 250 coupon once again test 250 click on apply coupon and this time it is showing the error message this coupon code is already availed by you okay because this coupon has been already availed earlier okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to add the new coupon here uh, i'm going to add the automatic single time coupon and percentage again i'm going to make it the 10 percent okay and i want i will select the all the categories here okay i will select the men uh, here okay and brand i'm going to select all the brand here okay so uh, expiry date i'm going to set uh, for 28th feb okay so now uh, see see this is the expiry date when i uh, made this video okay so don't worry okay uh, so now uh, i'm going to try uh, with this new coupon uh, see id this one i have added single time so for the first time this must work fine so let's see yes it is working 120 rupees discount i am going to place with the order okay so cash on delivery and i'm going to place the order it will take few seconds see we are going to add the loader at the end of the video we will add the loader here like we have added in the register uh, at the time of registered user okay so now uh, see that coupon has been availed okay so now once again the user is going to add uh, product okay user will add the product and will try to avail the coupon once again okay so see user has already availed the coupon now he is trying to avail the coupon again then this time the coupon code is already availed by you we are showing the error message that the coupon code is already availed by you so we are not going to uh, show any discount we will not uh, uh, allow the user to avail this coupon so this is the single time coupon now it's working fine okay so the user can able to just uh, avail it once user can able to redeem it only once okay so this is the thing you can do this uh, just add this uh, add this condition in the apply coupon function and then this one it will uh, will work fine okay so this is the single multiple time coupons for you so one more thing uh, we are going to add here the loader like we have added the at the time of register uh, if you remember that at the time of register uh, we have the loader like if i will open that register see we are having the loader here so at the time of the checkout as well uh, at the time of the place order button here we have the place order button so at this button uh, we are going to execute the loader so i'm going to add the button id here so that we can add the loader here okay place order uh, on the click of this place order button we are going to show this loader okay so on the click of this place order button i'm going to do like uh, uh, here dollar document see on the click on click we will send on click here on click of uh, this uh, uh, ID uh, that ID is the place order I have just added place order function uh, we are going to add this one like this okay so in this uh, see every time when the user will click uh, on the place order button we are going to show this loader see no need to hide this loader like we have hide this loader at the time of response but because this is not the ajax we are just reloading the page we are just uh, redirecting the page to the thanks page okay so loader will automatically remove so now we are going to see uh, the whether the loader uh, will work fine or not okay here uh, we will uh, add show loader at the time of order placement fine so here we will just add the loader so i'm going to refresh it and we'll see if the loader will come up or not i'm going to select one of the delivery address 
and then we'll clash on delivery and i have a set of terms and conditions let's click on place order see loader is working fine now it is showing the loader okay as it is sending the email to the user order email to the user at the back end so see now the thanks page has come up and loader is gone away so the user can at least wait and user will not do that double click kind of activity user will not click that place order button again and again okay because uh, he will see the loader has come up so it means uh, that the next page is loading okay so you can also add this loader at your end so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye